Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. You may be curious about my peculiar designation, a far cry from John or Jane, I agree. But it's a name given to me by the United Time Travel Federation for a simple reason. To remind me of my mission syntax, the rules that govern my exploration. Time travel, you see, isn't as straightforward as one might think. There's a syntax, a delicate balance, a set of rules that governs the mechanics of quantum displacement. And now, it is time for me to share with you my most recent journey. A voyage into the very heart of Tun 618, the most massive black hole known to human civilization. My mission was to venture into the confines of Tun 618 and gather data. The mission was ambitious, even for a seasoned traveler like myself. It is worth noting, however, that our understanding of black holes in the 25th century is considerably more sophisticated than in your time. We've discovered methods to safely approach them, to probe their abyssal depths without succumbing to the deadly singularity at their cores. And yet, the sheer scale of Tun 618, 66 billion times the mass of our Sun, presented challenges that even our advanced technology had yet to fully overcome. On the day of my departure, I walked onto the sleek deck of the Timeliner X, my vessel of choice for this daring expedition. It's a ship that manipulates quantum forces, breaching the walls of time itself. As I nestled into the pilot seat, the holographic interface sprang to life around me, casting an otherworldly glow across the darkened cabin. I entered the coordinates for Tun 618, far away in the constellation of Cain's Venatici, some 10.4 billion light-years from Earth. As the quantum engines roared to life, a thrill coursed through my veins. The adventure was about to begin. The trip through the time-space continuum was a sight to behold. Streaks of cosmic energy raced by as we twisted through the quantum tunnel, an interdimensional passage through the fabric of space-time. I had been through this process hundreds of times, but the thrill, the raw sense of transcending the natural order of things, never quite diminished. Yet, this journey was different. I wasn't just crossing space and time, I was set to visit a behemoth black hole, a monstrosity so immense that it defied comprehension. As the Timeliner X exited the quantum tunnel, the sight that awaited me was breathtaking. Tun 618, a beast of unimaginable proportions, occupied the heart of a brilliantly radiant quasar. Its swirling event horizon, a mesmerizing dance of destruction and creation, devoured light from surrounding stars, casting a shadow so profound it eclipsed nearby galaxies. The sheer scale was both humbling and terrifying, a testament to the unfathomable power of nature. I engaged the ship's advanced observational systems, attempting to gather as much data as possible before closing in. It wasn't just the black hole that intrigued me, but the quasar it nestled within. Quasars are the brightest objects in the universe, powered by the gargantuan black holes at their centers. The intense radiation emitted from the accretion disk around Tun 618 illuminated the black hole's inky shadow, providing me with an opportunity to observe its grand spectacle. The closer I got to Tun 618, the more violent the surrounding space became. The gravitational lensing caused by the black hole warped the light of distant stars and galaxies, creating surreal, dreamlike patterns across the cosmos. I was caught in the surreal beauty of this chaotic symphony, hypnotized by the display of cosmic power. The technology on board my ship provided just enough stability to prevent me from spiraling into the black hole's gravitational pull. As I moved closer, I began to see the effects of Tun 618 on its galactic neighborhood. Streams of cosmic material were being drawn into the black hole, torn apart, and blasted out in jets traveling at near light speed. This process, referred to as, quasar feedback, has a dramatic impact on galactic evolution. It was a unique opportunity to study this phenomenon up close, one that I couldn't pass up. I maneuvered the Timeliner X into position and began scanning the accretion disk's composition. As the ship's quantum sensors analyzed the swirling cosmic debris, I realized that I was not just observing history, but experiencing it. Here, at the edge of this massive black hole, I was peering billions of years into the past. The data I collected here might help future generations understand the universe's early stages and the role supermassive black holes played in shaping it. After collecting data from the accretion disk, it was time for the mission's most dangerous phase, journeying close to the event horizon. This is where the black hole's gravity becomes so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Venturing this close was risky, 
but the potential rewards made it worth the gamble. The event horizon could hold answers to some of our most significant questions about the universe and the nature of reality itself. I initiated the timeliner X's Schwarzschild shield, named after Karl Schwarzschild, who first solved Einstein's field equations for a black hole. This shield would protect the ship from the gravitational forces that would otherwise tear it apart. As we approached the event horizon, I felt a profound sense of unease. I was entering a region of space where the familiar laws of physics began to break down, where time and space twisted into enigmatic forms. As the ship hovered near the event horizon, I engaged the quantum sensors once more. I watched as the universe beyond the black hole warped and contorted, a kaleidoscopic vista that was both eerie and beautiful. Ton 618 was bending reality itself, pulling the fabric of space and time into an infinite abyss. I could see the light from distant galaxies spiraling into the black hole, its path warped by intense gravity. Venturing this close to the event horizon was both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Time was behaving strangely here, slowing down relative to the universe outside the black hole due to the extreme gravitational pull. What might have been minutes for me could equate to years, centuries, or even millennia outside. I was trapped in a peculiar time dilation, making me a silent observer of cosmic epics. As I peered into the abyss of Ton 618, I couldn't help but wonder about the secrets that lay within. Our current understanding of physics suggests a singularity resides at the core of every black hole. A point of infinite density, where space and time become infinitely distorted. Could it be the key to new realms of understanding? Could the solution to unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity be lurking in that singularity? Using the ship's gravity measuring devices, I attempted to determine the black hole's precise mass. It was a daunting task given the extreme conditions, but my mission's success hinged on it. By calculating its mass, we could deepen our understanding of how such massive black holes form, how they influence their environments, and perhaps why Ton 618 is an anomaly. As I moved closer to the event horizon, I prepared the Timeliner X to plunge into the black hole. This was the most perilous part of my journey. Despite our advanced technology and the Schwarzschild shield, venturing into a black hole was a gamble. The ship could be ripped apart by tidal forces or succumb to the intense radiation. But I had faith in the ship and the team back at the United Time Travel Federation who had meticulously prepared me for this mission. As we crossed the event horizon, the universe outside began to shrink, distorting into a tiny, bright dot due to the black hole's intense gravity. Inside, it was a different world altogether. My instruments were now useless, unable to gather data or even function correctly. But the ship's time displacement mechanism still worked, providing a lifeline back to my timeline. In the heart of the black hole, time and space were twisted beyond recognition. A strange calm descended as I journeyed into the unknown. There was no up, no down, no left or right. Just a swirling, warping mess of reality. It was as if I had fallen into a cosmic blender, tossed and turned by the hand of a capricious universe. The ship shuddered as we ventured deeper into Ton 618. Despite the sophisticated shielding, we couldn't escape the violent tidal forces entirely. I held my breath, expecting any moment to be my last. But the Timeliner X held strong. The ship was designed to withstand these harsh conditions, and it was performing brilliantly. The darkness enveloping the ship was oppressive, an unimaginable void that swallowed all sense of perspective and direction. But there was a certain peace to it as well. I was in the belly of the universe's most fearsome beast, yet I felt a strange sense of serenity. I was at one with the cosmos, part of its grand, incomprehensible machinery. With the ship's sensors and communication devices rendered useless, I resorted to an archaic method of recording my observations, pen and paper. I wrote about the darkness, the silence, the loneliness. I wrote about the distorted perception of time and the feeling of being utterly insignificant in the grand scheme of things. These notes, I hoped, would provide valuable insights for future time travelers daring to undertake a similar journey. Time passed differently within the black hole. What felt like hours could have been days, weeks, or even months. It was disorienting and isolating, a solitary confinement on a cosmic scale. Yet, amidst the turmoil, I discovered a newfound respect for the universe's mysteries. I was a witness to forces that no human had ever encountered. The overwhelming sense of awe kept my spirit aloft. I know now that our universe is not the only one. 
Beyond Tun 618, there are other universes, waiting to be discovered, waiting to share their secrets. This revelation fills me with a sense of excitement and anticipation. What new adventures await us? What other mysteries are out there, hidden in the cosmic abyss? As I approach Earth, I can't help but reflect on the enormity of what I've discovered. It's a humbling experience, one that has forever altered my perspective on life, the universe, and everything in between. The cosmos is grander, more complex, and more beautiful than we could ever imagine. And yet, there is so much more to discover. As I set foot on Earth, I can't help but feel a sense of gratitude. I have been privileged to journey into the unknown, to witness the cosmos in all its glory. It has been an adventure of a lifetime, an odyssey across space and time. I look forward to sharing my discoveries with the world, to unlocking the secrets of Tun 618, and to embarking on new adventures. As I conclude this tale, I hope you've enjoyed this journey as much as I have. I hope it has sparked your curiosity, your sense of wonder. I hope it has inspired you to look up at the night sky with a new sense of appreciation, to dream of what lies beyond our reach. Until we meet again, farewell.